Hey guys, how are you doing? How's your day going? And we just touching. How was your night? Hope you had or having an amazing and a beautiful day today. Today we're going to be diving into one of Python's most powerful features, which is list comprehension. If you are looking to write cleaner, more efficient code, this is a must know tool. So let's just jump right in, shall we? Okay. So what exactly is list comprehension? Simply put, it's a concise way to create lists using just a single line of code. Almost like the way you have, um, what do you call this again? Um, it's a lambda functions. So instead of like having your whole block of code for your normal function, you just use a lambda function. So everything is in a straight line of code. So think of it almost like that. So you can use list comprehension to do the same thing, but in a much more readable way. So let's just see an example. So normally, if you were working with like just a basic list, let's say you wanted to create a list, but you wanted to use range function to create like the values of the list. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So you would have like an empty list, let's just call it norm, and you just have your square brace then you will now have a loop for i in range and you now have like where it's starting from an n plus one where you want to end so once to end at five is now going to be six and we're going to have our column then with this that we're not going to append whatever value we have into the list so that if we save this and we run it. What the fuck is happening? Why is my keyboard not responding? Okay. It's not coming. Sorry, just sit dead. Uh, sorry, my keyboard disconnected. So let's just print num. All right. So instead of like doing this, like now we have three lines of code. We can easily compress all of this into one line, making it more efficient. As a developer, your number one goal should always be to optimize your code, make it more efficient, use lesser, lesser storage, but use lesser storage, lesser time, but still have an equal or even a much better um, output or result. So the way we'll do this is write our loop function within here. So we're going to say i, which is the variable we are um, appending into this value. They will have our loop. So say for i in range, kind of like what, the way we did before, I'll just call the range. So if we were to save this and print it, we're going to get the exact same um, response. Now, list comprehension can even become more powerful when you add like conditions. Let's say you only want to include even numbers in your list. You could do something like i for i in ranges and use a larger um, ranges due to 10. Then you can now come at the back of here. Still continue it, no in a um, column or anything. You just say if i. So if you want to check for um this is the models is modular division so it returns the remainder so you want to check if the remainder is equal to zero because if it's an even number and you divide by two no remainder will remain so if we run this you can see we're well, going to have the even numbers um in there you can also be nested which allows you to work with multiple sequences as once for example if you wanted to create pairs of numbers from two different ranges you could do something like We'll have to, let me just clear everything. I think I've gotten a code. So we'll say um, the two values you want, i and j. Then we'll say for i 
So we'll just do for each of the values. For I, almost the same way we have been doing it since, in range, let's say one to three. And we'll say for J in range, let's say four to six. So if we save this and we print it, you can see it's going to kind of like pair the numbers together. So the first value before you have your four condition is just what you want to be the what you want to be appended into your list, and then your conditional looks through how the value should be added. And um, yeah, that's just the basic idea. If you have an understanding of working with conditions and loops then this should be easier you just i feel like this is even easier hopefully but if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys